gonna start off by giving our praises to Yahweh. Bashem. Yahweh Shah. Bashem. Raka. Kadash. Double honors to the apostle and elder, the great millstone, who rule well and taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the house of David, the late man pushing his truth in faith and sincerity. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Raka, Kadash, Barakatham. To all you sincere listeners who may hear this. All right. And uh, we're just going to go into uh, the destruction of the Heavenly Father, man. All right. And Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, he's going to. Um, he, he's going to start bringing the hammer down on, on you people, man. The hammer of judgment, all right? And uh, the Lord's judgment is not going to be pretty, all right? On, on, on you on you two-thirds, so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Indians, all right? It's going to be uh, mass judgment and destruction, all right? And uh, you're going to be judged for all your wickedness, man, all right? And Yahweh Shemel Shah is not playing. It's gonna, he has a, a vast majority of of um, of. Of, of destruction is going to sit upon you, all right? So I want to uh, start here in Ezekiel uh, 9 and 4. And the Lord, Yahweh Shah said unto him, all right, the him being the, uh, the angel, all right, the deaf angel, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, <laughs> All right, Jerusalem being the people before it was the place. So go through the midst of Jerusalem. The, 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 the people who who is the people that inhabited Jerusalem? You Israelites, all right? Israel being in semblance to Jerusalem. It says, And the Lord, Yahweh Shah said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the man that sighed and cried, for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that mark is the uh, the wild, which is the exemptment from judgment. All right. It says, it says, verse five, and to the others, he said in my hearing, all right, anyone else is the others who don't have the mark. And to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after them through the city and smite. Smite me to kill. All right. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So, the, the the holy angels of the Lord, they're not going to transgress the, the word of the Heavenly Father, man. I, when, when the Heavenly Father send, the, send out the judgment upon you, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, all right, now you heathens, okay, these these the holy angels are going to execute the, the judgment of the Heavenly Father. They're not going to have no pity on you. They're not going to they're not gonna spare you, okay? They're not going to show no compassion on you. They're going to put you to death. All right? All right. It says, slay utterly. All right? And utterly, that means pretty much completely. All right? Slay utterly. Old and young. All right? So old and young. You could be a, you know, your grandma, your granddaddy. All right? That's that's an old senior citizen. Okay? And young, meaning any a, a young female, young girl, young baby. Okay? Both maids and little children, both little small girls and little children, okay? And women, but come not near any man whom, so like upon whom is the mark, and begin at the ancient men which were before the house. So the Heavenly Father, he's not going to... Uh, he not gonna spare nobody, man. And this destruction that's coming upon the earth, man. All right, the judgments that Yahweh is gonna is gonna send out. All right, he's not gonna spare nobody. It don't matter who you is, man. If your ass is 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 sent for judgment, you you gonna receive it, okay? All right, you to be that. This is uh Amos. We can break this down right here. This is Amos chapter eight. I mean, Salaki verse nine, verse eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shem al are upon the sinful kingdom. And who is the sinful kingdom? All right. Well, it's uh, a lot of a lot of uh, brothers use the scripture to say uh, America, which America is a sinful kingdom. And you can apply it to America, but it's really talking about you Israelites. All right. Because uh, I'm going to prove that real quick. I'm going to prove that real quick. All right. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 1 for uh, one verse four, a sinful nation, a people 
laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are going away backward. It said a sinful nation, okay? Who is who is that talking about? Right. This, this, this talking about uh, you Israelites. All right, so let's go back here to Amos. This Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, behold the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. All right, talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. All right, a, a, a sinful nation. All right, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So Yahweh Shem is going to wipe you niggas off the face of the earth, man. You're not going to be here no more. All right. It said, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. Yeah, how about Shimei Oshai? Uh, Shimei Oshai, 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 Sh
mean, he's not, well, I think on Judgment Day, he's not going to be answering my prayers. He just want to be straight killing stuff. Yeah, kind. <laughs> yeah, kind. Let me, let me read that one more time. All right. <laughs> It said why he made me come. <laughs> Let me read that one more time. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. To a point where he's not gonna be found. All right, you're not gonna be able to find him no more. All right, you're gonna be seeking the Lord. You're not gonna be able to find him. All right, you're gonna be gone. It says, "Seek the Lord while he may be found," because it's gonna come to a point where you have a shame now. He's not gonna be able to be found, and then that's when you're gonna want to seek him, but you can't find him at, from that point. All right, and then, All right. then then it's too late. This is a uh, so you got something to say? Uh, This uh Proverbs chapter one and I just start from twenty. This uh Proverbs chapter one verse twenty. Wisdom crieth without she utter her voice in the streets. Alright, so wisdom is crying out in the streets right now. Alright, like 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 the brother uh Tazaya Wan said, you got brothers on every uh corner, okay? You got counts uh all, all throughout uh, the four corners of the earth, on the streets, on the highways and the byways, all right, on the chief places of concourse, all right, on the streets, uh, crying out uh, the 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 uh, word of the heavenly Father, all right, speaking speaking the word of the heavenly Father, all right. It says, she trieth, so like she crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the opening of the gates, in the city, she uttered her words, saying. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? All right. So, how how long will you you simple as so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians love simplicity? All right. Like the brother said, how long you gonna you you know you you gonna love uh getting fucking shape ups and fades and mohawks, all right, and, and, and all these crazy ass hairstyles, man. All right. How how long you gonna love eating uh pork? Pork chop sandwiches, man. All right, how, how long you gonna love uh, being a damn demon? All right, de denying the word of the heavenly Father, you know, uh, to to turn up in your own uh, your own heart, all right, your own desperately wicked heart. How how long you you gonna love being that way? Right, and a lot of people don't. A lot of chicks don't know that when you sign up your hair, that's the reason why you start to go bald in the first place. Yeah, cause they, cause they simple. It says, and how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Yeah, cause you gotta, you gotta be a damn fool to hate knowledge. Or you gotta be a fool, you gotta be a damn fool to to hear somebody speaking and breaking down the scriptures properly like you never heard before, and to just and to despise it and just walk straight past it and shit on it. You 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 a damn fool, man. All right. Who if, if somebody trying to give you some knowledge, you you don't want the knowledge. What what kind of person are you, bro? You're you're a damn fool, you know? You you got to be a fool if you don't if you just if somebody trying to tell you something for your own good but you don't want to hear it. You're a damn fool. And it's not just something for your own good. This is for your salvation, man. Salvation. Yeah. This this is this is the way this is how you're gonna be saved from destruction, man. Alright? So you you rejecting it, you well, let me get this real quick. Alright, let me get this real quick. This uh this uh Proverbs chapter eight, verse thirty-four. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, watching at the post of my door. So I say, Blessed is the man that heareth me, okay? Watching daily at my gates, watching at the post of my door, standing upon a watch. All right. It says, For whoso 
find of me, find of life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushah. So whoso find of Yahabashim Yahushah, they find of life. All right, they going to obtain favor from the Lord, okay? It says, so, and how do you find the Lord? By by uh, listening to the word, by not rejecting knowledge, okay? By, by seeking wisdom, okay? It says, right. But he that sinneth against me, wrong of his own soul. All that hate me, all they that hate me, love death. All right. So if you're not, if you're not, if you're rejecting the word, okay. If you're rejecting knowledge, like it's saying Hosea uh, four and six, okay. If, uh -huh. you, if if you're rejecting knowledge, then you you uh you hate Yahabashim Yasha. You rejecting Yahabashim Yasha. All right, and if you reject your help by Shem Yahshua, he's going to reject your ass. And if, if he reject, reject you, you're going to get put to death. Right. And there ain't going to be no coming back from the dead. No, nah, yeah, yeah, kind, kind. Yeah. That's beautiful. Since you said that, let me get this precept because I was thinking about it too, but you, uh, this, I'm going to bring it out now. All right. This uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 9 Verse 10, it says, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. Right, so when, right, so when you die, like, you can't do nothing but you're dead. <laughs> so, when you die, you know, you supposed to be doing all this stuff when you're alive. Yeah. So, you, when, when you're in that grave, you you can't, you can't praise the Lord if you did. Yeah, kind, kind of like what? What the fuck? How, how you gonna praise the Lord? Did that's right, y'all. Huh? You know, it's over with from that point. It's too late now. Right, y'all. By shooting shot, you already at his throne, and he already looking at you in his face, or I would say, or something. Yeah, you already in the spiritual world. You already in the spiritual. It's over with. You know. Right. Shit, you, you, you in your right mind now. You supposed to. You supposed to. Uh. You supposed to seek the Lord, uh, why? You you supposed to show the Lord that you're willing to depart from wickedness. All right, you you when 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 you go to the spiritual world, you you ain't gonna be doing wickedly. All right, this is a world full of wickedness. So while while you have a, while you have a chance to depart from wickedness and do what you can to serve the Lord, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Right, to the best of your ability. Come, come. That's right. That's right. I'm going to go back here to Proverbs, uh, back in Proverbs, the first chapter. It's back in uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. All right, so Yahabashim Yahshua has made his, his words known to us. All right, he, uh -huh. he, we, we know what, what the Heavenly Father requires. We know what the Heavenly Father uh, wants of us. Okay, we know what we're supposed to be doing. The, the, the words have been known, made known to us. Okay. Right. It says, because I have called and they refused, I have scratched out my hand and no man regarded. All right, so Yahabashim Yahshua have called. And, 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 and they have refused, okay? He's scratching out his hand, but no man regarded, okay? You slapping, you slapping the hand of the Heavenly Father away, all right? Right, when you, right. And, that, and a prime example is that when you see us on uh, there on the street corners and y'all just walking by, like, we just look stupid. Like, we don't like, we're, we're talking about or nothing. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Right. Like, we just look stupid. Like, we don't even know what we're talking about. It says, verse 25, but ye have set at night all my counsel and with none of my reproof. Yeah, you you niggas would. It don't matter what what kind of brother it is and how he break it down to you, what kind of style he coming in, you know, what kind of video he making in, how he try to make it entertaining for you to catch your attention. With however it, it is, you 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 refuse it. It don't matter what you you turn at all the reproof of your how about she meow shot, man. All right, a brother could a brother could tell you, look, man, you can have many as wives as you want, bro. You 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 the you the kings of the earth. All right, all these nations are under you. You know, uh, you 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 are really uh God's chosen people. You know, 
you know, all, all the good perks and honey of this truth. You can tell a brother all that. He still won't give a damn. Right. He, 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 he's so stuck on cardinality. He, he, he can't imagine that. Yeah, come. come. <laughs> God. It says, verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So, yeah, how about she, man? He said he going to mock when your fear cometh. He going to laugh at your ass, man. All right? All right. The man of the Lord, we're going to be laughing at your stupid ass because we told you, look, this is what you need to do to be getting right. This is what you need to be. Hey, look, you need to turn from that wickedness, man. Hey, y'all about to see about to come back and, and destroy this place. All right? He going to say it. Go. go ahead. Put out that yeah, cut. Put out that and put down pork chop sandwiches and put down that razor to their head. Yeah. <laughs> and, and let them, and let their head alone. Yeah, cut. <laughs> yeah, cut. You better. Leave hair alone. Yeah, cut, cut. You better uh, do the, you 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 better serve the Lord to the best of your abilities, bro. You better pray. You you better get on and pray. You better, and you, you you better turn from wickedness, all right. But instead, these these uh, these, uh, these niggas like to laugh and, and laugh at the man of the Lord, laugh at that joke, uh, laugh and joke and play around and, and think this shit a game, all right. So it's it says, yeah, come. It says, I. Verse 20, this Proverbs chapter 1, verse 26. I'm going to read that again. It says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Right. So the Lord's going to laugh at y'all. That's basically what he's saying. Good. Yeah, how you? You ain't going to buck up on the Lord because he laughs at you. You don't know what y'all think y'all could. Then you know how they get get some type of creative thought in their mind. Oh, he's laughing at me, so I should go see what's up. Well, you, they ain't catching the door. Yeah, yeah, come. Well, your ass ain't even gonna have time to see what's going. You gonna be getting catching so much hell. All right, <laughs> you ain't even gonna be able to worry about that. You just gonna be worried about the hell that you catching. All right. Right. It says verse twenty seven. When your fear come up as a desolation. All right, so niggas gonna get spooked like, oh shit, boy. <laughs> hey, niggas gonna be catching hell out here, bro. Yeah, but she not saying ain't gonna be playing with these niggas, man. All right. It's, right. It's sick of these niggas, Yeah, gone. Well, from that point, he he is sick. Well, he's already sick with these niggas, but from that point, it's it's done. All right. Now I'm finna, cause if you sick, you you gotta cure these niggas. All right. What's the, what's the sick? What's the cure for these niggas? Hold on, let me get there real quick. What's the, what's the, cause these niggas? They are sick. They, All right. They, I know, I, I know the security order you need. Oh yeah, I got it right here. I got it right here. Here we go, right here. This uh, this uh, Sirach in the Apocrypha, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter thirty, verse seventeen. Death is better than a bitter life, or continual sickness. <laughs> so it's a death. De death, death is is better than a uh, evil life. B better than a because bitter means evil. All right, so death is better than living an evil life or a continual sickness. All right, so you would rather be dead than be continually sick like you niggas are. Right. That's that's your cure. That's your cure. All right, get put to death. For I C M B missile. Like whoo! Hey, if you make it that far, if you make it that far. Right. This uh Proverbs chapter twenty uh Salakio, Proverbs chapter one verse twenty seven, it says, "When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me." So here they go. They, that's just like Jake too. When 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 they start catching hell, now they want to call on the Lord. All right, not you in jail. You in jail facing uh time. Are right, you about to do five, ten years down the road? You get on your knees, Lord, please help me out of this situation, man. Alright. You know, you 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 get caught up in some shit. Now, now you wanna pray. Like I seen this video on YouTube, this dude, he was robbing a, a cell phone store. And then when the uh when the when he they had locked the door on his ass to where he couldn't get out. <laughs> So he tried to rob the store. Now he couldn't get out that bitch. So they locked it on him. So this nigga, guess what he do? They start breaking 
probably. No, he got well, yeah, he got on his knees and started praying. <laughs> Why the fuck? Yeah. Why why your ass went praying before you went in this? Why you didn't pray before why you why you didn't pray and not go and do that shit? But now when your ass see you about to get locked up and hell coming on your ass, now you wanna pray. Right. That's Jake. That's Jake. When hell come upon him, now he wanna call to the Lord. Alright? Right. It says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Yeah, yeah. How about she not going to answer your ass? Just like he ain't answer that nigga. Or he got on his knees and was praying. It didn't matter. The police came and locked his ass up. Right. See. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yeah, how about she not shot? They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Alright. So they. Yeah, it's like. Go ahead. It's like, yeah, yeah, just like yeah, these niggas, man. They they only they only find the Lord. Uh, uh. They only get they only want the Lord when they're bad times. What yeah. about the good times? Yeah, kind of when it's convenient for them. You know. You you can't you can't you can't pick you can't pick and choose when you gonna serve the Lord, man. You can't you can't put the Lord on on, on your time, man. Who the, who the fuck you right. think you are, man? Right. <laughs> you think the Lord on your time, man? You on the Lord's side, nigga. <laughs> These niggas crazy, man. That's Jake too, though, man. Yeah, they think like that. Yeah, they think like that. Good. <laughs> Hey, nigga, you in the Lord's time. You not on your time. <laughs> who the fuck you think you are, man? That, that's the pride of Jake. That's the pride of Jake. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 5 or 7. It said, well, let me see. I started, I started 6. Well, I, I just start from 4. All right, this, this Proverbs chapter 5 verse. Well, let me start at 3. So like y'all, I'm sorry. Okay. This uh Proverbs chapter five, verse three. And say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord Yahabashim Al Shah will surely revenge thy pride. <laughs> say not, I have sinned, and what harm have happened unto me? For the Lord Yahabashim Al Shah is long suffering, he will in no wise let thee go. Concerning concerning appropriation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him. And his indignation resteth upon sinners. Right. So it say the end. Go ahead, up. Basically saying that judgment falls upon the sinners. Yeah, kind. Well, it say it rests upon the sinner. So, a judge, because indignation means righteous anger. So, the righteous anger of the Lord rests upon a sinner, man. All right. So, if you, 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 you want to do sinful works, and then you thinking, oh, but the Lord, you know, he, he cool. You know, I, I, I can come, I can come, I can, I can, uh. I got time to get back right with the Lord, you know, or the Lord, he, he, he ain't going to judge me right away, you know, or I'm good for now, you know, or I did this and that and, you know, the Lord ain't judged me, so he cool with me, you know, but hold on, but hold on, or I, I'll, I, I'll get with the Lord when, on my time, when, when I'm ready, I'll come, I'll start serving the Lord, you know, it says, verse 7, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, you how about she mouth shot, so you're not supposed to put off serving the Lord, man. You don't supposed to make no tearing to serve the Lord, man. You supposed to do that shit now, all right? You don't, you don't supposed to. Oh no, nah, I'm a, I'm a, uh uh the Lord on my time. But when when I'm ready to serve the Lord, or when I want to call on the Lord, then I'ma do it. Hell, it's a make no tearing to turn to the Lord, man. What the hell you waiting on, man? Your ass better do it now. I'ma kill your ass. Right, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn that nonsense. Con, it's a. 
make no terrier to turn to the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushat, and put not off from day to day. Yeah, you're supposed to, oh, I do it tomorrow or the day after that, I'm going to serve the Lord or on Saturday, I'll do it. No, nigga, your ass going to do it right now. Right, yeah, yeah, if you fuck up, he's going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. They say, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushat, come forth. So just suddenly when you think it, Oh, you think it's all good and gravy, then, then suddenly the wrath of the Lord going to creep up on your ass. Uh -huh. It says, in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. <laughs> so you, 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 thought, you thought you had time, because you, you, you were secure, you thought you had time to serve the Lord when you was ready. All right, but when you, when, in that security, in that mind that you, you was thinking with, that's when your ass going to get put to death. And perish, con, and perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah, your ass gonna perish in the day of uh, of vengeance, man. Yeah, how about she? I said gonna kill you, man. All right. So let's go here. Would you go ahead, up, uh, Salaki? No, it's just that goes to show you how this how they are. It's two thirds of these niggas and they love procrastinating a lot of putting stuff off. Con. Uh, yeah. They, oh, well, here we go. Let me get this preset real quick. This Ecclesiasticus chapter 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of man is fully set in them to do evil. <laughs> right. Imagine... Imagine if as soon as you done sin, imagine it would pay right away. Yeah, kind, kind. Man, it wouldn't be in the LI, it wouldn't be sinning. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah everybody be dead. <laughs> right. Kind, kind, kind. Kind. Let me read that one more time. It's uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of man is fully set in them to do evil. Right. So y'all y'all think, oh, I'm not going to get killed today, so I'm going to do it today, and then I'll just repent later. And then it'll, it'll become a big old, big old mess. Yeah. After a while, and then the Lord's going to kill you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, well, here we go. Let me read down one more uh, verse. It says, though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged yet surely I know that it should be well with them that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh which fear before him Con, so he you you like like the brother said you you might do it a hundred times or you might be like oh I'm gonna do it today because ain't nothing happened or I did this and I got away with it so I'm good I'm gonna try it one more time all right, though a sinner, though, 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 though you sin a hundred times and you continue to go on and live, all right, Yahweh Bashim Yahushat is going to get your ass, man. All right? He's going to get you. All right. You not, you not, it's, go ahead. Yeah, he, 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 he not, no, nobody, he not, no, no, it's he playing with, he not, nobody, uh, thinking funny and games with. Yeah, he this, not, he not, no, he not, no, he not, no man. Yeah, he exactly. Think, uh, You can't pull you can't pull one over on the Lord. Alright? It's it, it tell you that well let me get that preset real quick. Yeah, how about she now? So he watching everything. He watching right, everything. Right, like he watching it right now. Con, con. That's right. That, well that's why we're doing this work. Alright? <laughs> so the Lord can look up, right. look down on us and be like, okay, yeah, they you, your ass better be doing this work. Alright. Right. You uh -huh. you <laughs> Yo ass better be serving me, all right? I'm going to kill you niggas, all right? This uh, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3, just to prove that the eyes of the Lord, he watching everything, all right? This Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. He sees everything and he 
does everything. So, like, it goes, that goes hand to hand. It's another scripture that says he does everything. Tom, what's, uh, can, can you remember how it go? I can try to pull it. Okay, hold on, let me go. Let me see if I can pull it. Uh, Tom. it goes something like this. Um, hold on, I got a preset while you're looking for it. Just to keep the spirit flowing. All right, this uh, Sirach and uh, Parker, also known as, uh, I meant Salaki, uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach and Parker, chapter 23, verse 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of man, and knoweth not the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of man and considering the most secret parts. All right, so let's say the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, man. You you can't imagine that, man. Right? Yeah, you can't imagine that. <laughs> Nigga, go go try to look at the sun. I bet your ass go go try to look at the sun for sixty seconds. I bet your ass go blind. Okay, I know the scripture. I got it. Okay, come. This, this is this is Isaiah chapter forty-five, verse seven. Come. I form the light and create darkness. Okay. I make peace. And three evil. Mm. I, the Lord, yeah, I will do all these things. Mm. Mm, go ahead, break it down. Huh? So, he, he, so it, it says it right there in plain sight. He, he the one that uh, does, okay, he does good things, he does bad things. He the one that decides whether you live tomorrow, he decides whether you die tomorrow. That's right. That's right. And then I got, I got another scripture. Huh. Okay, this is Deuteronomy. Uh, chapter 13, verse 39. Huh, that's the spirit. I, I was just thinking that. I was thinking that. Cool. Hold on, I'll read it. For, I'll, I'll get it. I, I got you. I got you. I'll, okay. read, I'll read it for you. Because I, I was just thinking of that. I got you. Okay, right. huh. I'll read it. You can break it down. All right. This, All right. Uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Exactly. So, yeah. so, so the, the Lord wants you dead. You, you ain't changing. You ain't, ain't nothing you can do to change the, the Lord's mind. Yeah. Yeah. Kind. Yeah. You're not gonna. <laughs> you're not gonna counsel the heavenly Father. Like, well, let me get that real quick. Damn. That. That's just because you said that. You made me think of this preset right here. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna talk. To, yeah, you're not gonna talk to Heavenly Father out of nothing. All right. This uh, this Isaiah chapter forty, verse uh, verse thirteen. No, fourteen. With whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge. And show to him the way of understanding. So, who who the who the hell who who the hell gonna counsel the Lord? Who gonna, who the hell gonna tell the Lord how they how he should judge or or, or what what he should do? All right, because the, these these got question marks behind it. Ain't nobody gonna. That's the that's the answer to the question. Ain't nobody gonna tell the Lord what he gonna do. The hell you mean? Right. Lord, Lord gonna just kill your ass. All right. He he ain't he finna ask you, oh do you, do you think it's okay if I if I kill you? No, I'm I'm finna kill your ass, alright? All right. <laughs> yeah, you ain't yeah, you ain't gonna uh, play that time talking about it. You ain't gonna play that game, you play with your parents. No. Nah, no, nah, cause the cause the Lord he he does sit well let's get this I got a preset, I got one preset right here. You could break it down. Alright, this is Nahum Nahum chapter one verse three. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, is slow to anger. Woo! <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me start back from the top. This Nahum chapter 1, verse 3. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, have his way in the whirlwind and the in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Right. So yeah, if 
basically saying the Lord hates love and anger, and, and when he once he said that with you, he gonna he gonna let it all loose. Yeah, he gonna get you. Yeah, kind, kind. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Huh? And and and, and they say the clouds or the dust of his feet. It, it say he is great in power, but yeah, how about she outside not not a power to be playing with, bro? <laughs> That's not this this is the Alpha Omega, man. All right. You you don't want you don't want your Habashima outside this you don't want to be on your Habashima outside bad side, man. Right. When he on his he he he'll throw anything he he'll throw anything at you. He can make a uh try to trailer hit you and kill you. You say what, Aki? I say I said he can make he when he wants you on his uh wants you in the fearful hands of the living God, he he'll make anything at you. Oh man. Oh man, that's yeah, that's that's scary. That's scary. That's scary. I got a precept right here. This Malachi chapter two, verse seventeen. Ye have wearied the Lord, you how about she mouth with your words, yet ye say, Wherein have we wearied him? So you how about she mouth say so y'all done got on my damn nerves with y'all words and and y'all doings, man. But y'all but y'all niggas spits and time shows, y'all say Oh, well, well where, where, how are we getting on the Lord's nerves? Like, wh wh why are we doing something that's worthy of him to kill us? What are we doing? All right. When they say, everyone that doeth evil is good in the sight of the Lord. Yahabashim Yahshah. Just by you saying that you okay for doing wickedness, the Lord is going is, is going to still deliver you and you doing wickedly. You, you wear the Lord just by doing that alone. All right. It says... And he delighteth in them, Salakia. And he delighteth in them, or where is the God of judgment? And that's what these niggas say. <laughs> they they really be like, where where is the God? Of, I, I've been doing this and that uh for for so long. Where where is the God of judgment? I ain't been judged. That's that's some bold ass shit to say, man. Right, he can really just turn you into dust right there and instantly. Yeah, kind. Well, it's, we just read it. They hold the first chapter that he's great in power, man. All right. Well, because the brother, he wanted to go into. Let me get this real quick. Let me get this. You already know where I'm going, I believe. But you wanted to go into uh, how these motherfuckers going to get hit with, with, with nuclear fire, nuclear missile. Here we go right here. This uh Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague where with the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushua, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Right, that's basically talking about when an ICMB missile hits you in this, this American skin off your body. Make your eyes fall out, make your tongue fall off. Mm. I mean, make your tongue disintegrate, your skin go disintegrate slowly, and and and, and just a bunch of other stuff that still would have never happened to you if you didn't listen to the Lord. <laughs> yeah, God, a hey, great point, bro. It's a great point. Yeah, if you if if if, if you don't want to get burnt up by ICBM nuclear missile, but just listen to the Lord, like you said, kind, bro, kind. That's right. That's right. Simple, right. simple breakdown. People, right. People make it harder than what it is. Yeah, come on. Ain't it hard to serve the Lord? Like, y'all claim so much y'all love the Lord, and then y'all have a harder time trying to serve him. Ain't that hard to serve him? And how hard is that? How hard is it not to eat pork? How hard is it not to cut your hair off or uh, bald? How hard is it not? How hard is it not to, uh, uh, oh, oh. Well, it tell it tell you that uh my comm commandments are like my commandments are not grievous. All right, so the commandments of the Lord are not grievous. This is not no hard thing to be doing, man. All right, so that's now that's that. When you do when y'all do that stuff, now you really put yourself in the hands of death. Cause it's not that hard to Woo. follow. Y'all choose to still uh, uh, follow anyway. Kind of what we, we read that in Proverbs the eighth chapter where it say, uh, "All those that hate me love death." Right. So y'all must love death. Y'all 
I got a preset real quick. Uh, this uh Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 7. Therefore, thus said the Lord, the, uh, Salaka, therefore, thus, thus said the Lord of hosts, behold, I will melt them <laughs> and try them for how shall I do for the daughter of my people? Their tongue is like, so, so, like, what, what what should I do? What, what what else can I do with these things? I just got to burn them up, man. All right? Their tongue is right. an arrow shot out. It speak of deceit. Yeah, man. man the, <laughs> hey, it says that they, they, they tongue speak of deceit. It shoot out like an arrow, man. Nothing but deceit out these niggas' mouth, man. All right? One right. speak of peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth, but in heart he left his way. Shall I not visit them for these things, said the Lord, Yahabashim El Shai? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Right. So, yeah, shit. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh. Yeah, these people keep, it's like I said, these people keep touching the Lord. He's going to be playing with it. When he lets y'all out, y'all not going to be like, it's not going to be, he's not hot. He ain't going to let me like, it's not funny about that. That's funny about it. You trying to get screwed up by the Lord all because. You can't follow simple, simple uh, laws. Yeah, gone. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, it's it, it's not no. Yeah, it's not nothing funny about this shit. Yeah, it's it's not nothing. What the what the hell is funny? Are right, you how about she now? She's gonna kill you, man. All right, here we go right here. This uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter three, verse. Uh, I start from the top. This Ecclesiasticus chapter three, verse one. To everything there is a season, and a time. To every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. All right, so it's a time for everything under the sun, man. All right. And uh, right. right now we we in the time of of, of death, man. Right, time of death and famine. Yeah, kind. Kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 it's just all just all the spirit right here. I ain't had no precepts written down, nothing. You know, we ain't calculate this or nothing. We just went in. Right. All praise to your Yeah, call on your All right. This uh this is uh Ruth chapter two, verse four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. That ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. All right, so you have my she now shot saying, "Come out of her, man." All right, not literally. They don't mean get on a damn plane and go to uh, Israel. All right, like some of you stupid ass niggas think, or, or go fly to Africa. All right, that means come out of right. uh, America spiritually. Come spiritually out of America, man. Kind, kind, yeah. Let let the ways of America go. Let 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 the uh the the system of the beast go. All right. Let the uh image of the beast go. All right. It says. It says for her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh Bashim Yahushah have remembered her iniquities. So Yahweh Bashim Yahushah said the sins of America, man, and the people in America, all right, and the people who follow behind America. Have reached them to the heavens, man. Right, with their sinful deeds. Kind. That's right. It said, reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she said in her heart, I sit a queen 
and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore, therefore shall her plagues come to come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh she now shall who judge her, judge of her. Yeah. So like the brother said, man, that's that's all you got to look forward to is death, mourning, and famine, man. All right, and, and, and ICBM nuclear missiles to burn your ass up, man. All right, because if you don't want to come out of the ways of America, if you don't want to put that Babylon juice down, if you don't want to uh, flee uh, out of America spiritually, okay, then what, what's left for you but destruction? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahshua said the iniquity has reached up to the heavens. All right, so now... So now you have to reward her double, okay? So it's it's a lot of judgment that's gonna go out, man. Right, a lot of death, a lot of starvation, Whew. a lot of people dropping and dead. Yeah, God. It said it said in one day. <laughs> right. So so it's gonna it's gonna happen quick, man. All right, one day you just gonna wake up, all right, and it's gonna be all hell breaking loose out here, man. It's just gonna be all out. Just fucking chaos out here, man. All right, I got uh, one more precept, bro. Uh, let's another one. You you got anything? Right. You you got. What did you say? I was saying you got any uh, precepts. Uh no, I don't. Okay, kind of, kind of. Well, I'm, uh, we can just end it off here. All right, this is Jeremiah okay, chapter. Come. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter fifty one, verse six. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord Yahabashim Yahushua's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Uh, so, yeah, basically saying, leave, leave this America stuff alone. Stop trying to build up here. Stop trying to, stop trying to take life of party all the time. Kind. Kind. Yeah, because. Hey, it said, cause it's the it's the time of the Lord's vengeance. Hey, fuck that. Hey, that's all you gotta tell me. Hey, it's the time of the Lord's vengeance. Okay, I'm I'm good. I'm I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm straight. It says, oh, I'm I'm gonna just go down to eight. It says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord Yahabashim El Shai's hand. They have made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. And that's why all these nations are going to turn up America all right, and, and send ICBM nuclear missiles over here and burn this bitch up. All right. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Yes. That, and that's why you got uh, the uh, American uh, economy collapsing right now. All right. Stocks uh, dropping. All right. You see all these people dying from opioids. All right, all these police officers getting killed. All right, you know all, all these uh up wars of the people. All right, these people want to impeach Trump. All right, they they want to kill Trump. Are right, you got terrorist attacks? Are right, you got mass shootings at, at the highest point if it's ever been? All right, because Babylon is suddenly falling, man. All right. Right. It says Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her. Pain, if so, may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. So, yeah, the, 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 the judgment uh, uh, of Babylon has reached up into the heavens, man. It's done reached up to the skies, man. And there's no coming back yeah, for this place. Yeah, I can smell it. Huh? Yeah, I can smell it. Man. Yeah, oh, yeah, God, 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 God. Yeah, he's, he's, he, that's not a, uh, that's not a, a pleasant smell in his nose, man. All right. Right. It's like, I, it's a scripture that said it too. But like I said, I'm gonna get ready to wrap it up. But just to quote it, it says something like, "It's like something like wickedness is like a smoke in his nose." I can't, I can't remember exactly how I go, but pretty much like, 
the, the wickedness, the iniquity is like a smoke in his nose. You know, like with some smoke coming in your nose, this shit gonna piss you off, man. Like, you know, like, you 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 you're not gonna just be able to breathe no smoke in and be like, oh yeah, that's that's it's like annoying, you know. And that, and that's how the heavenly Father feel about uh, this place, man. All right, that's why he tell you to flee out of this place spiritually. All right, and what and how do you flee? And, and what? Well, hold on, I got one more precept. All right, because because you because you dead you dead spiritually in America. All right, but. Through, through the spirit of poverty, how about she may also about she may call the best you made alive. All right, and th this is how you made alive. This is how you flee spiritually. This is how you uh uh be quick. Well, let me just read it. Okay, this uh Saint John, this is Saint John chapter six, verse sixty three. It says, "It is the spirit that quickened the the flesh, profit of nothing." All right, and this in, in America, Babylon is nothing about. About nothing but the flesh. All right, it's nothing spiritual about Babylon. All right, that's why Yahweh Shem Al Shah said, "Flee out of this place." All right, and once you flee out of Babylon, all right, you you will, you will put off fleshly things because this is a completely fleshly carnal kingdom place, Babylon. That's why he's telling you to flee out of it so you can come into the spirit. It says, right, and, and dwell in unity. Right. It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth. Quick enough. Well, well the, the only ones that's going to dwell in unity is the lit, you know. What we, 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 you say? I, I got my phone. Oh, you good. All right. This St. John chapter right. 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quick enough, and quick enough mean to make alive. All right. Uh -huh. It says, The flesh profit of nothing, the words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. Alright. So so the words of the Heavenly Father are spirit. Alright, so so how do you flee out out, out of Babylon and, and come into the spirit? Well, by by hearkening to the words of Yahweh by Shima and and, and 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 taking heed to them. Alright. And that's how you are made alive, and that's how you can flee out of this uh this this uh this this spiritual uh, oppression, cause this, cause this Babylon oppresses your spirit. Are right? you dead spiritually here in, in, in America? All right, but through the words, and, and the word and doctrine of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shabbat Shem Kadesh, you are made alive. All right, and that's how you flee. All right, and come into the spirit. Right. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you you got any more precepts up? Praises to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Rakah, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and are worthy of double honors, and taught us this truth, peace, and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.